My investment tanked. How do I pay the policy loan back? My name is Darius. And I'm Carmen. And we're the founders of Wealth Nation. Wealth Nation is dedicated to showing you how to own your own lifestyle through a concept called infinite banking. We answer questions and show you different techniques on how to grow and manage your banking system. Mm -hmm. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every single time we come out with brand new videos just like this one. Yes. So the amazing thing about infinite banking is you can utilize your policy loans for investments, but sometimes investments go amazing and some go south. <laughs> so in the event that your investment goes south, just take a deep breath mm -hmm. because you're in control. And that's the best part about infinite banking is working with the insurance companies. They are so much more flexible than dealing with the banks. So you don't have to worry about them coming and repoing your car or your house or whatever the case may be because it's a mutual relationship. So in this case, uh, just to recap, what happens is when you're getting a loan from the insurance company for investments, so to speak, you're not using your money. Your money is just being held as collateral in order for you to obtain the loan from the insurance company mm -hmm. so you're essentially just using their money and it's their money that you lost so at this point you just have to figure out what ways are you going to work towards uh, to either pay that money back or maybe not pay the money back so like Carmen said you have two different options on how you should handle the situation you either pay the money back or you don't pay the money back our favorite option is to pay the money back figure out a payment plan that's most convenient for you to pay that money back to the insurance company. Whether it's $100, $200, or you just have the money laying around, pay that money back to the insurance company. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the great thing what happens is when you pay the money back, now you have access to that money all over again, mm -hmm. and you can just re request a new loan. Uh, the second option is you don't pay them loan back. This is our least favorite option because remember, you borrow from the insurance company, so you're obligated to pay them 5% simple interest every single year for the duration of the, the time that that, that loan is outstanding. Yep. So the nice thing about that is if you pass away, they'll just deduct that from your death benefit. So you're not going to be passing on that debt to your family member yeah. or your uh, your beneficiary. Yeah, any outstanding loan that you have and you happen to pass while you're in the middle of paying it back or not paying it back, mm -hmm. the insurance company just deducts it from your death benefit, like Darius said. So if you have an outstanding uh, balance of $10,000 loan mm -hmm. and your death benefit just happens to be 450000 they will pass on 440000 to your family tax-free. Exactly. So. Again, this is why our favorite option is to pay the loan back if you if your money was to tank in an investment. Mm -hmm. And the, the reason being, just to reiterate, the, at the end of the day, like we said, you have options. Mm -hmm. So you're able to do whichever one that you choose. If you pay the money back, that's just more money for you to access throughout your whole banking system. And if you don't pay the money back, then you're going to continue to pay that 5% interest every single year, and that gets pricey. Mm -hmm. But the good thing about option number two is it can give you some breathing room for a few years to pay back the simple interest. Mm -hmm. Because simple interest, let's call it a $5,000 loan, is $250. Mm -hmm. So on your anniversary you just kick $250 over to the insurance company and you're good for that year mm -hmm. and then the next year it'll be $500 mm -hmm. so that gives you breathing room to get your money right so that you can get those loan payments start going so you do have options there um, we have instances where we haven't paid back any of our principal yet because we're just paying the simple interest because mm -hmm. we're giving ourselves breathing room to uh, get those loans paying back uh, because they're currently invested and working to make more, make more money. Yeah, just always remember you have options and if your investment tanks is not the end of the world, take a breather and think about what options you have or options you want to create for yourself. Mm -hmm, exactly. So we hope this answers your question. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, and also follow us on Facebook and Instagram at wealthnation.io. Own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.